Hello everyone and now welcome to game two in the series between Tho versus Yumiko. Game two now taking place on Twisted Meadows. Yumiko spawning as the orange human player here at what I'll call the five o'clock position. Meanwhile, Tho playing as the teal night elf here at what I will call the 11 o'clock position. And what is already very interesting about this particular strategy, no ancient of war, no altar of elders i do know that this means that we should be we will be going into a dark ranger but are we going to be going into dark ranger or a tavern hero excuse me tavern hero with huntresses perhaps that would be a reason why you wouldn't need that early early ancient of war and, and get that building down we already see now yumiko looking around the map looking for where exactly his opponent could be now yumiko knows the standard night elf strategy which is to try and train up an altar of or ancient of war somewhere near these center creep camps here perhaps over here or over by a shop something where you can try and hire up um, where you can tank a lot of damage and then clear it out very, very quickly. You can see that it is going to be a Hunter's Hall, and I swear I have not yet seen this game. And yes, Yumiko is actually just a little confused as to where his opponent possibly could be. You can see an Ancient of War finally comes into play, but it is much, much later, and Yumiko is just wandering around here wondering, where exactly has my opponent spawned? You can see that there's a peasant right there and there is a wisp now walking around doing some scouting but still Yumiko doesn't know where exactly his opponent is. The footman is now making its around as well. He perhaps thinks that his opponent is here at the 9 o'clock position as the, as the footman is exactly moving off in that direction. The wisp now going to be hiding and making it even look like he is coming in from this side. So very, very curious play as we are already going into militia creeping here by the Knoll Overseer. Now, Ancient of Wonders being constructed directly next to a farm. We know that this Ancient of Wonders will go ahead and destroy this farm with really little to no effort as an Ancient of War now being built on the far side of the map. That is a proxy Ancient of War as Tho does go into a very early Beastmaster. A peasant gets taken down as the Beastmaster now already in play. Not sure what to make of this. A first hero Beastmaster. Uh, I know Night Elf players like to use Tavern Heroes, but a Beastmaster first is not something you normally see. All right, the Beastmaster making its way over that half ogre, half orc, um, what, misspread is just doing a great job harassing here as normal. Meanwhile, what is going down a Quill Beast? Um, did, what did the Quill Beast do? Did it try to pull some aggro or do something? I'm not 100% sure as we are now looking at this farm taking a lot of damage off over here. Huntress is now being added over as Ultra Vision now already being researched. Now this is one of those situations where you got to be extremely careful um, against Huntresses. The reason why Huntresses in mass numbers deal a terrible amount of damage to footmen. That Glaive Bounce um, does deal a lot more and that glaive bounce does just bounce across multiple units as we see Yumiko going into a troll shadow priest. All right, Berserker now coming, or the Beastmaster now coming in here, trying to get in some easy shots, trying to take down perhaps that Troll Shadow Priest. And is that Troll Shadow Priest going to be able to get away? It doesn't look like it. No, it gets taken down. Beastmaster now halfway to level two as the Archmage is now taking a lot of damage as well. What's going on here? This is a lot of focusing as the Beastmaster doesn't get the kill or the item, and now he does get surrounded. All right, let's see. Is he going to get the Water Elemental? Yes, he does get the Water Elemental, and then he scrolls of Town Portals out of that particular fight and takes the Quill Beast with him. The Huntress may even try to come in and get some easy shots onto some units. What is he doing? Um, that, yeah, Tho needs to be careful there. There was two very low hit point units that he could have taken down and decided against. All right. Um, Archmage still trying to fight back off here. You can see that the farm is uh, nearly destroyed. It will get taken down in just a second. Meanwhile, over here, this Ancient of War is still training up Huntresses as this Huntress is looking to get some easy damage onto some, perhaps, Troll Berserkers. All right, doing a little bit of hit and run tactics and a very low hit point Huntress able to Shadow Meld right there, right in plain sight as the Archmage now perhaps looking for Dust of Appearance. All right, Quill Beast now coming in. 
There's another Huntress now making its way over. And what is going on here? The Quill Beasts are just poking apart at these peasants and the footmen as the Huntress is still shadow melded right there. So far, the Quill Beasts can run inside here. Oh, a peasant gets the kill, denying experience once more as this Huntress now will be retreating. All right. Beastmaster now heading back. Perhaps he's going to pick up another Clarity Potion for, I believe, the third time. Um, where is that Clarity Potion? And it looks as though, yes, the Ancient of War will be tanking out this Null Overseer Creep Camp. The Ancient of War is right there, already tanking some of that damage. There you go, the Null Wardens attacking through the trees, able to deal that damage as the Null Overseer will get taken down. Oh, this Ancient of War needs to make sure to not actually get in that final shot there. Gonna go ahead, and now we see that the Beastmaster is sitting at level 2. Back over here, Quill Beast now continuing to poke around. Could actually try to get the Arcane Tower, as the Arcane Tower is a light armored building while it is being upgraded. You can see that the Ancient of War is now still back over here. That is a good number of Huntresses. Five of them on the field with two more. Two more on the way. And now, dual Ancients of War. And this is a strategy that I haven't seen very often. This is extremely, quote-unquote, old school back into the mid-2000s. Yes, Ogre Magi will get taken down here. Archmage is already sitting at level 3. He may try and creep out this and then set up an expansion. Yes, he will. The Militia already down to half-life here as Yumiko currently getting the Defend upgrade. But... He really, I really wonder about that as you already know Huntresses are going to be the unit of choice. There is one Arcane Tower there going to be going after the Huntress. The Huntress does take a little bit of damage, but really not that much in the grand scheme of things. All right, let's see. One farm is going to get taken down here. The Arcane Vault will get taken down as well. It looks as though, yes, that Huntress is absorbing a lot of that damage. There goes the Arcane Vault. There goes a farm. And another farm may be next. Militia now being brought over as you can see the footmen now making their way over as well. And Huntresses, Quill Beast now looking to engage. Archmage comes in from the back. Gonna get in a lot of damage here. The Beastmaster now on the run as the Huntresses take a bit of damage. Footmen now flanking from the north as we see a whole bunch of mercenaries picked up by Tho. Tho now going to try and harass at the far side at the natural expansion here. Huntresses now running around here as we're going to see a whole bunch of Huntresses make their way through. You can see the guard towers are nearly done. Um, about halfway, and now you can see a quick, quick cancellation there. Yumiko going to be losing uh, more and more of these peasants. As you can see, the rest of the army is now going to regroup and regather. Peasant after peasant will fall. Beastmaster gets to level 3 in that engagement. And now, what is going on here? Tho, staying at mass tier 1. Uh, no, going to tier 2. Um, that was completely unexpected. Going to tier 2 with the Huntresses. Normally, Tier 1 Huntresses with the Priestess of the Moon. And somehow, Tho is making this strategy work. We are now going into dual Ancients of Lore. Um, anytime I feel like I know what Tho is going to do, Tho goes ahead and completely changes things. Once again, flips the script so that I have no idea what's happening. All right, let's take a look. Huntress now looking to back off here. Footmen have defend. Congratulations, you are slower against all these Huntresses who are now doing bounce damage against you. Abolish magic or, or yes, abolish magic onto one of those water elementals um, to try and take them down. You now see the Footmen going after the Ogre Mauler, but the Footmen are slowed against all of these Huntresses. So their DPS is actually significantly lower. All it takes is one quick turnaround causing the Footmen to chase for two seconds. And then they need to re-engage again. The Huntresses perhaps need to back off here. There's some low hit point units. Though, being very, very careful to... Oh, oh, one Huntress is going to get taken down. Is it going to get taken down? What is going on here? There goes one. There goes two. And we now see level four Brilliance Aura on the Archmage. Ogre Mauler gets taken down. Water Elemental gets taken down. And after all of that, Tho is in the lead. Oh, Huntresses absolutely counter... Um, healing um, scroll of regeneration because oh fireball long distance hit there it goes down again as the scroll of regeneration gets disrupted very very quickly with huntress bounce 
All right, Forest Troll Shadow Priest now being picked up and walked back over to join in on the fight. Water Elemental will get taken down there. Down to 11 hit points. One more shot. There it goes, giving more experience to the Beastmaster. Beastmaster is still looking strong at this point. Um, whoa, a little bit too much. Um, Beastmaster is still looking strong at this point as the Arcane Vault is about to fall. Huntress down to 105 hit points should back off here. You do not want to lose a, a Huntress or any units to a tower for that matter. And there it goes. It does get taken down as we are now seeing a Thunderhawk in the air. A beautiful choice by the Beastmaster to get a Thunderhawk. It deals extra magic damage against those poor unsuspecting footmen. And now the Water Elemental now making its way over. All right, you can see how quickly that one unit gets taken down here. The Thunderhawk could just turn around and just stay in that fight and try and take down um, those footmen. Those footmen don't know what even hits them. So much damage, 21 to 25, as the Beastmaster now down to 127 hit points. It looks like the Beastmaster will get taken down. Level 5 now on the Archmage. Archmage chasing after the units here. All the units are retreating back. Panda now picked up at the tavern. Are we resurrecting the hero? No, we are not. Um, not even resurrecting the hero at this point. And what is going on? You can see double water elementals. Water elementals should make very short work of Huntresses and that Thunderhawk there. The Thunderhawk, however, does deal a lot of damage. There's a huge breath of fire coming across the top as we are now reviving the, um, the dead hero back at the Altar of Kings. Yumiko loses another footman. The panda may get off another kill. Another kill there. It looks like, yes, level two now. And the panda completely tra turning things around as the archmage takes a wrong turn. Where is it going? He has no idea. A potion of lesser invulnerability will be needed or invulnerability able to run around the corner and now head back home. That archmage is fairly fast and light on his feet. Should be able to get wherever he is going. And yes, we'll be picking up perhaps a staff of teleportation. No scrolls of healing. And now trying to regroup with the rest of this army. Footmen all very, very low. It looks as though Huntresses and Dryads may catch this army out of position. Oh, one low hit point Footman already. There goes another low hit point Footman. There's the bounce on those Huntresses. As the Archmage now uses a scroll of town portal to regroup for himself. All right, priests are nearby. Scroll of Regeneration. Yumiko sitting at 30 over 54. Meanwhile, 48 over 50. As the Panda Dryads... And units are still all just coming together. Ogre Warrior about to get taken down here. Ancient of War taking a lot of damage once more. You can see Forest Troll Trapper um, gonna fall. Tome of Intelligence plus two. Pandas, pandas do like to read books that make them smarter apparently. As he's up to 18 intelligence and 300 mana at level three. Um... True Shot Aura for the rest of the army. Why not? Dryads, Huntresses all dealing more damage there. As we're now looking at a Tree of Life by Tho, a ninja expansion here at the 3 o'clock position. So far, that panda is doing a great job staying in this game. Beastmaster now back out. Staff of Preservation picked up. And I do believe that Tho does have everything to clean up at the next point he has a great follow-up in this expansion he'll be able to get that and maintain that economic lead he already has two heroes out the second one being level three a level four and a level three i believe beats a level five and a level two um, if the Mountain King can even get to level two at this point it is a three three two creep camp he should be just quite there um no there's a four stroll high priest he will make it with absolutely no problem there it is and now trying to finish off the rest of the units. However, in comes the fight. So many um, owl sentries um, doing what they do best by being an owl and constantly just look around the map here, able to see what's going on. And what the huntresses are gonna take down this one farm. There you go. I believe this is going to open up the floodgates for all of those units. Is there a scroll of town portal? No, there isn't. So all the units, um, they just want to make sure that if the army is in the back there, they can chase in. Mountain King now sitting at level 2. But is it going to be enough? The Mountain King needs to figure out when that fight is going to be going down as we are now entangling a gold mine. All right, Breath of Fire does catch a couple of peasants here. This peasant off on the side, just playing a game of darts apparently with all of those poor peasants who are trying to just mine some gold. 
all right mining some gold mining themselves and they end up getting destroyed there you go there's the engagement this is a little bit of a flank militia on one side army on the other thunderhawk is in the air you can see that the defend is up there is a roar scroll of the beast so much damage to be had the hawk dealing now up to 33 damage but there's the gg as we now see tho quickly taking out yumiko 2-0 in this series thanks for watching thanks for listening game three is actually an anti-spoiler game but please feel free to watch thanks for watching thanks for listening